Good morning, English 110 students. So last week, you checked out a book. I asked you to try to read the first 10 pages of your book before class today. The reading activity you'll be doing for today hinges on the reading of that book. So we're doing some reading reflection today and actually doing some reading in, the, in our class. Um, so we would have done this reading in class today had we been able to meet face to face. So these are the steps that I want you to take in a text entry box in Canvas um, during the class period. So I want you to submit this assignment before the end of class, 1045. All right, so the first step is to write down your book title and how far you've read in the book. So what page or chapter did you end on? Did you make it through the first 10 pages? Hopefully you did. The next step is to record some thoughts on the book so far. So what do you think of it, basically? A minimum of three sentences. But note, I'm asking you not only what you thought of it, but what about it? seems to align with you personally. So what are you finding in it that resonates with you in some way, if anything at all? And then I want you to read for 45 minutes. See how far you can get. Set a timer. See what happens. Okay? Challenge yourself to read. Find a good space for yourself to be able to do that. And then to complete this writing activity, I want you to record on what page you finished. And then because I want you to read a minimum of 25 additional pages before we meet next Tuesday, I want you to add 25 to that page number and jot down the number you'll need to get to before Tuesday. Then I want you to write out a plan for how you'll get it done. Where, when, and how will you complete the next 25 pages of reading required before Tuesday? So this is the writing activity for today that I want you to do during class time, and please submit before 1045. So this isn't the only thing that we need to be thinking about. The other thing that I would have gone over today had we been in class together is your book choice, choice proposal, which is the first part of your Unit 3 assignment. So what I'm asking you to do is spelled out in this assignment page and I'm asking you to do the following in order. You're providing a correct MLA citation for the book you checked out of the library, okay? You can check the formatting for your MLA citation by following this link. And this time, because you've had a chance to practice, I'm not going to as easily forgive accuracy errors. So I want you to make sure that you get this citation looking the way that it should, using the references available. Okay, so the MLA citation needs to come first, not at the end. Next, I want you to write a 200 to 300 word paragraph that summarizes what you've learned about the book or read from it so far. And so last week when we met with the librarian, we looked at different ways that you could find information about your book, either through a general internet search or through the, the Literature Resource Center. So I want you to, in complete sentences, cover this information, okay? What year was it published? And what was the context? In other words, what was going on that year that maybe has some impact on how people read the book or how they were thinking about the content of the book? What are some significant details of the author that could be interesting or could relate in some way to you and your decision to go with this book? And then what is the book about? That's helpful to know. And what style is it written in? What information can you find to help enlighten us as to how the book's written? What might be the sort of unique approach that the author's taking, if any? And then what was the critical reception? Well, we know the book won a Pulitzer Prize, but what else do we know about it? What are some maybe some things that critics have had to say about it? So you got to be careful in this section that you don't plagiarize, that you don't pull information verbatim from websites. Remember, we've been practicing summary all semester long. So see what information you can find that you can then translate into your own words to give us some background on the book. Okay. Finally, the third thing that you're doing for this assignment is writing a 300 to 400 word paragraph that describes why the book is a good fit for you. And this explanation will, will address 
two things. First, your personal experiences or interests as just a basic human being. And second, your perceived reading proficiency. So you've had some maybe ch challenges related to reading longer works, or perhaps you like to read longer works. So think about the features of the book that may play into um, your, your reading proficiency or your attitudes about reading. So in thinking about how this assignment is going to be evaluated, surface level explanations are not going to be rewarded here. So I want you to try to more deeply engage with the themes of the book based on what you've learned about it. And so try to think more deeply about what's going on in the book and how it relates to you personally. And you'll be able to see a couple examples here to see what a C- minus approach looks like compared to an A or B approach. We're getting to the end of the semester, and so I want you to know that it's becoming more and more important for you to read your assignments aloud before submitting, to catch grammatical problems, redundancy, sometimes students submit things with paragraphs repeated, missed, word, inco in, missed words or incoherence, those sorts of things. At this point, you need to be catching those errors before you submit, so um, make sure that this time you do a nice read through before you submit. Otherwise, you should expect a not so great grade. And it's a little bit harder to revise from a D or an F um, to get to an A, even if you submit on time and have an option to revise. So keep that in mind. If you submit late, you'll get a penalty of five points per day. And remember that you cannot submit after a week has passed. And if you don't submit your assignment on time, you don't have the option to revise. So this is the step one of your book project, MLA citation, a 200 to 300 word summary of the text itself that you're reading, and then a 300 to 400 word paragraph where you talk about why you think the book might be a good fit for you based on your personal experience or interests and your perceived reading proficiency or attitudes about reading. And that, my friends, is it. When you come in on Tuesday, oh, let's hope that we can all be there together. I want you to make sure that you've read an additional 25 pages of your book by that point, and you need to be bringing your book to class from here on out. If you have questions, please reach out and email me. And remember, your writing activity today is due before 1045.